Park Street, as a person, is perhaps getting younger. You're a little bit of a renaissance person. Practical. Smart. A freedom fighter. It was born with a certain amount of destiny. The steeple was to be that much higher than the state house. In those days, in 1809, uh, the population was around uh, 34,000. The time after the American Revolution for the churches of New England was a period of, of dramatic and rapid reorientation and redirection. The basic uh, core principles that have guided the congregation, uh, these were there at the beginning and continue to guide the church today. We have these three labels. They do define the church, and congregational is the first of them. The precious thing about the Trinity, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, is that, that it defines love. From the ordinary person's perspective, from the outside, evangelical means either a certain personality type, uh, a media stereotype, or else a political voting pattern. We transfer you now to the Park Street Church in Boston for the regular Sunday morning service conducted by Dr. A.Z. Conrad. Truly the Lord was in this place and I knew it not. The history of revivalism, these, these big urban revivals, really did let this church grow and become much more of a public presence. Twelfth pastor of Park Street, uh, Harold John Ockengay, invited Billy Graham to come to Boston Congregationalists were in the lead in setting up uh, voluntary uh, moral reform societies, voluntary societies for mission, voluntary societies for education. Women's Benevolent Society um, really is responsible for the foundation of this church. Boston was probably a, a more tightly segregated city with a stronger racist attitude toward black people in 1890 than it was in 1840. As I look back on the history of Park Street Church, I'm amazed that uh, the threat of education and Christian education that has continued on from, from its founding. Missionaries get such a bad rap today and they have this reputation that that they really have been imperialistic, colonialistic, and have destroyed cultures. Being a missionary is unlike anything. I, I can't think of another job that I would rather do than that. And I chose pediatrics because children are the most vulnerable people in our society, and the mortality rates are amazingly high. Yes, we look back and we're grateful for what the Lord has done, focus on what the Lord has done, uh, but then there's this rededication portion of it. We're still called to care for others, whether it be locally or around the world, and share that and be contagious so that you're reflecting what God's heart is like. <laughs>